Huh, let me put it up close real quick so y'all can see that. Look at that. Woo, product red band. Bam, with the gray, with the red rim from the Rhino Shield, swagging. Boom, this one has the black multicolor, so there's like multicolor thread in there, which is why it matches perfectly with this like lavender and then the orange insert. Swag. Oh, how are you doing? We're gonna do a versus of the 44 millimeter versus the 40 millimeter. Now I've seen people searching for this, so obviously there's an interest as to which one you should get. When you're getting ready to pick your Apple Watch, you wanna know, is the big one a hassle? Is it too big, too heavy, or is the small one more the go for me? Now, my experience is I initially, I had bought like a the gold stainless steel series four, the 40, the big boy, and then I had purchased an aluminum smaller, I guess 40 millimeter, and I compared between those two and I ended up going with the aluminum because I like the lightweight and the small function on my wrist. But then this year I switched it up and I got the bigger size aluminum and now I'm enjoying the bigger size aluminum version more than I did the smaller size. So I'm gonna tell you why some of the factors that played into that, why I even chose the smaller one over the bigger one in the past and why now I went back to the bigger one. Hopefully this helps clarify your decision. There'll be links in the description below to both sizes, whether it's series five, series four, whatever you wanna go with. And I'll speak a little bit on the advantages of the series five and the always on display. To those of you who wonder if the always on display is great, a gimmick, good, trash. <laughs> I'm here to tell you play which I absolutely 100,000% love and stand behind. So yeah, when I initially first got, I got the stainless steel. This is another thing to consider if you're thinking about weight and sizing and how it's gonna play on your wrist. So if you're a person who's not a fan of heavier wrist wear and you tend to like something light, you might be active, you might move a lot, maybe you have a physical uh, working situation. So something lighter would uh, benefit you more. Then you gotta consider that when you go to pick your material of your Apple Watch. They're offering stainless steel, they have ceramic and titanium if you got the big boy bag. But the typical two that most people are gonna choose between is the aluminum or the stainless steel. Simple as that. I love the stainless steel. Check it out. Oh wow, that's a nice size. Definitely a bigger, more heftier watch. The look of it, the vibe of it and everything. But there's a couple caveats to it. It's gonna be the weight, and then most of all, it's gonna be that price point. The price just jumps. And when we think about tech, and especially with smartwatches and everything, just anything tech, period, we know that there's an expiration date on it. <laughs> Let's just be real. Now you can hold on to a lot of Apple products, hold on for years on through. There's a lot of people with Series 1 Apple Watches to this day. That's not really a problem, but for the, you know, technology forward people like myself, you know, I tend to see the newest and latest, and I'm like, I definitely want to get my hands on it and try it out and test it for you guys as well as for myself. You know what I'm saying? Play, I'll keep it a bug. <laughs> I like the latest and greatest tech. Those are a lot of the factors you have to think about. As I said, the stainless steel has that weight and then it has that price point. The aluminum is far more inexpensive and it's super light and it's pretty durable, but I know you noticed on both of these smartwatches. So you probably wonder what this is right here. This is the Rhino Shield crash guard for the Apple Watch. This will work guaranteed on the aluminum uh, versions. There's a Rhino Shield crash guard on them for protection. And then I, the band that I use, I'll get more into that, is just the Apple, uh, I think they call it the Apple Sport Loop. These are super light. These are the best Apple Watch bands, period. I don't even wanna do aftermarket anymore. So shout out to Apple for finally delivering on that. I hated the rubber silicon band that Apple gave us. I don't like silicon, rubbery, plasticky bands. No, but these are A1. I'll talk more on these a little later. So I got this crash guard. So if you're worried about aluminum getting scratched or denting, you grab one of these Rhino Shield crash guards. There's links down in the description. Go get your one, get your some. As you see, there's multiple colors and customizations that you could hook up, you know, lady friendly, male friendly, anybody friendly, because there's any colors and you can do a lot of combinations and build up the smartwatch look that you want, the Apple Watch look that you want. Let's clarify that, player. <laughs> so aluminum is very price attractive and then it's light. So those are the most important things about it that separate it from the stainless steel. So when you're looking at the sizing, you gotta consider that, the material. Even if you're wondering between the two, like on aluminum, between the two, if you're thinking the size is gonna affect that, slightly, but not so much so. I think what's more so gonna affect the weight is the material. Now granted, if you go stainless steel, Obviously, between the 40 and the 44, there's gonna be a weight difference. Another thing you wanna think about is the fit. The size of your wrist and the way that this watch is gonna fit on your wrist. So, I tend to have a smaller wrist, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing that out here, big, stocky, swole, and none of that. But I thought the smaller one was the one for me, but then 
when I seen the screen of the bigger one again, you know, the first time I was just like, I was comparing a stainless steel to an aluminum. So obviously I'm gonna want the aluminum if I prefer a lighter wrist wear. So those who prefer lighter wrist wears, I'm gonna push you towards the aluminum, aluminum, <laughs> the aluminum if you want that lighter wrist wear. You know, the display size, I think that's one of the biggest factors. You might be concerned about weight and the fitment, but really what I think it comes between the 44 and the 40 is the display size. You see a player wear glasses, right? I wear these spectacles. <laughs> I wear these, I call them C-Rights because they help me see right. <laughs> Display size makes a difference, man. It's a total different experience between the two sizes on your wrist. And I now, well, I always enjoy bigger screens. Like even when I go with the phone, I was doing all big phones, but now I'm kind of like, the annoyance of the bigger phone is just to carry. You got to think about your wrist in comparison to the size of the watch, but also that display size matters. So I highly recommend if you can, go try it on or order both and send one back or just order one. If you don't like that one, go back and exchange it for the size that you will like. If you're someone who's in a display size and you like that, that, that feeling, that immersion of having a big display and just seeing everything nice, big, bold, bright on these beautiful AMOLED displays. Oh my goodness, the Apple Watch looks so great. It's super crisp, super sharp. Sharpest smartwatch out there, yeah. That, that was all she wrote. I, just the sizing and the vibe. Like, cause both of these have the same watch styles on them, as you can see. And yeah, <laughs> the big boy for sure. So for me, the bigger display became the deciding factor between the two. I don't have to really worry about weight because the biggest deciding factor in weight is the material. And that's the main thing I'm trying to drive home. If you're looking in between these two, think, consider the material you're looking at and then consider the display size that you want because the material determines the weight, the display size determines the experience. And here's the final factor, your wristband. Your wristband is gonna play a big factor into comfort, weight, and just the overall look and vibe of your Apple Watch. Now, I love these Apple Watch sports loops because they're practically weightless. They weigh nothing. <laughs> these are amazing. Like, I love it. And if they get wet, they dry like extremely fast. So these are multi-purpose. Sports, they look pretty swaggy, you know what I'm saying? I got the product red on here with the Rhino Shield swag out here. Let me put it up close real quick so y'all can see that. Look at that. Woo, product red, bam, bam. With the gray, with the red rim from the Rhino Shield, swagging. This one, let's get it in. Boom, this one has the black multicolor. So there's like multicolor thread in there, which is why it matches perfectly with this like lavender and then the orange insert, swag. That's how I swag out my Apple Watches and that's how I enjoy my Apple Watches. So I go big screen for the experience. I go aluminum because I like the lighter weight wrist wear. And then I go with the sport loop because it's just the all around best Apple Watch band. So links in the description to all of the things that I spoke about. Hopefully I helped you make a decision in between these two. So this is my first Apple Watch purchase and let's unbox this bad boy. boy. Bam. Bam, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's a little fancy Apple little thing. There goes the charger. You, man, come on, man. Y'all know what's up here. Boom. All right, look at the size difference. Look out, there we go, baby. Man, that's a watch. 44 millimeter, boom. Identical. Oh, we got twin. I wonder how much power this is. Shot. So shipped. Shipped with a decent amount of power, which is dope. I like the idea of that. Bam, we got this little Velcro joint. Little. Okay, so this is the outside. Yeah, it's a little colorful. Boom. And how light this thing is, is amazing. Like, it feels like there's nothing on my wrist. Like, I actually like this. Golden swag out here, you know what I mean? It's been months, this is the long-term review, the long-term update about the Apple Watch Series 4. I've been using this thing. This has been my main daily driver overall. Now, I have an array of smartwatches. I'm the smartwatch guru. I love smartwatches, so yes, I have my Samsung Galaxy Watch. I give that play. I have the Galaxy Watch Active and so forth. I'm about to tell you the convenience of an Apple Watch and the biggest convenience to the Series 5 player. Oh, 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 
is the fact that it has the always on display. I've been wanting this on an Apple device for a while and I'm so happy that they've given it to us. Oh, and if you ain't know, I'm the smartwatch guru. You know what I mean? My name is CJ with I Know Tech, so you don't have to. This is CJ Knows Tech Player. Come back for more, man. Smash that subscribe. And look, hit that bell on the subscriptions and turn on all notifications. <laughs> oh man, let me get my...